Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia and today I'm going to be doing a recreation video. I'm going to be recreating the Popeye's famous spicy chicken sandwich that came out last year, sold out within two weeks, and then they brought it back like a few months later and now it's here. So I'm going to be making it at home. I'm going to show you how to make it step by step so you guys can make it from your own kitchen. Hopefully it is way better than Popeye's and you guys love it and you guys will make it too. And yeah, let me just show you how to make it. It's pretty quick. The ingredients are pretty basic and um, kind of like repetitive in a sense, but I'll get into that when I explain all the recipes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, give my video a like, um, give me a comment on anything else that you want me to recreate. And let me show you how to make this sandwich, this Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich at home, a copycat version. Let's do it. All right, baby, you ready to go to Popeye's? I am. What are we getting? The spicy chicken sandwich. I think that's how you say it. Hey guys, so we are at Popeye's about to order. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Can I get uh, one spicy chicken sandwich? Just the sandwich? Just the sandwich. Okay, is there anything today? That's all. No, thank you. That's all. All right. Got the goods. So we're back in my kitchen. Got some beef juice. Got Popeye's spicy chicken. And I'm just enjoying my freshly made beet. Beet? I, I can't talk. I'm drinking my juice, okay, that I made out of beets and apples and ginger and lemon. And it's delicious, it's refreshing. And I'm trying to drink healthy because I'm about to eat a chicken sandwich and a billion more. I gotta balance it, man. It's all about balance. Okay, back to the recipe. So the Popeye's chicken sandwich comes in its carryout bag, and then it comes with a couple napkins, and then it comes in this other bag, which I was surprised, and I think it keeps it warm. And then once you pull it out, it is wrapped in its own little paper. I think it got a little soggy, but basically it's a brioche bun with mayo, chicken, two pickles, some more mayo, and then the bun again, and it's toasted. So it's fairly easy to assemble and to make. Then with this torture device that is just a meat tenderizer, you are going to pound your chicken breast. So I'm using two chicken breasts. I covered them with parchment paper, but you can use plastic wrap, and you just wanna pound the living daylights out of your meat. You wanna get it as flat as you can. Once it's flat, just cut them in half because we are going to make a total of four sandwiches. On the video, I just made one, but this is for four sandwiches if you want it to know. So after both of the chicken breasts have been sliced in half, you're going to want to transfer them to a bowl. So I'm just trying not to touch the meat. Something about raw meat is just not very nice to touch. So I'm just using my knife to add them to the bowl. And then I went ahead and started making my chicken marinade. So I am using a cup of full fat buttermilk and then the spices I'm using are paprika, cayenne, garlic, and some hot sauce and I'm mixing it all up. Now for this marinade, I would recommend to use full fat buttermilk if you can find it at the grocery store. So I know a lot of grocery stores don't carry it, but if you can find it, definitely use it. And then add salt and pepper to season it. Give this mixture a quick mix. Make sure everything is nicely combined. It should start turning red from all the paprika and the cayenne. And this is going to really give the chicken a lot of flavor. So mix it up. And again, use full fat buttermilk if you can. It does exist and I know it's kind of hard to get your hands on it in certain states, but in Georgia, I've noticed that they carry it, which makes me pretty excited. So I just went ahead and poured every last drop of this mixture onto my chicken breast. And then I went ahead and gave it a quick mix. Make sure you cover your chicken breast on both sides with this marinade because you do want it to like seep in and you know, you want the flavor of this marinade. So you're going to marinate this um, mixture or this the chicken in this mixture for around 30 minutes to 24 hours. I ended up leaving mine for about an hour, an hour and a half. So all I did was covered it with some plastic wrap, popped it in the fridge, 
And while the chicken was marinating, I went ahead and got the breading ready. So to my flour, I added cornstarch, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne powder, Cajun seasoning, salt and pepper. Make sure you add extra cayenne pepper if you like yours a little bit more spicy. And then I just went ahead and gave this a quick whisk so everything was nicely incorporated. Once it was nicely incorporated, I set that aside and then I got started on my spicy mayo, which just consists of mayo, hot sauce, paprika, Cajun seasoning, and garlic powder. So my mayo wasn't exactly as spicy as I would have liked it or even nearly as spicy as Popeye's. So keep that in mind, add extra hot sauce if you like your spicy. I went ahead and mixed up everything and this is really important to do it ahead of time while the chicken is marinating because the spices and the mayo really get a chance to hang out and develop their flavor. You'll also notice that the spices are basically all the same. Like there's paprika and every single step in the marinade and the breading and the mayo. So it's a lot of repetitive spices, but they're all the right ones and they taste really good. So once I mixed up the mayo, I let it hang out and you'll notice that towards the end, it gets a lot darker when we're going to put it on the buns. So after an hour and a half of waiting, I went ahead and added some of this chicken marinade to my breading. I added around, I would say two to three tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. You don't wanna go overboard because you don't want your breading to be completely soggy, but you do want it to be slightly wet just because it gives it nice texture to the chicken once it fries. So just go ahead and drizzle some of that into your breading mixture and use a fork to make it nice and crumbly, kind of like this. So once it resembles this, type of situation. Add in your chicken breast one at a time. Make sure you coat it completely in the breading. Make sure you get all the cracks, crevices, all the wet spots. So just get it all covered in this breading. And then if you're making all of the chicken breast, if you're making all the sandwiches, just line each uh, breast piece onto a baking sheet that's been lined with like parchment paper and just wait until you know they are all ready. But I mean, it's up to you. You can start frying them right away. So I just made sure that this chicken breast was completely covered in flour. Then I didn't really completely shake off all the flour. I did get as much as I could off of it. Make sure your oil is nicely heated. Add in your chicken breast, the hot oil, one at a time. It should start bubbling up just like mine did. And then I went ahead and lined a clean plate with some paper towels. And then about after five minutes, I went ahead and flipped my chicken breast and fried it for another, I don't know, five minutes again. Just make sure that the internal temperature is 165 degrees. You do want it to be cooked. And then I just pulled up my chicken breast. It should look something like this. It should look golden brown, delicious. Your house should smell nice and like fried food pretty much. Then I just let some of the oil drip down and I placed it on my plate that was lined with a paper towel. And then you are ready to assemble this goodness. Wait, no, just kidding. So first you want to toast your buns. I added some butter and then I added my brioche buns to my skillet, got them nice and toasty. This step will also ensure that your buns are nice and warm through. So once they are at your perfect level of toastiness, kind of like this, start assembling your crispy chicken sandwich by adding some of that mayo to the bottom. As you can tell, my mayo got darker because of the spices in the mayo. They all got a chance to hang out, so that is so cool. And then I went ahead and added pickles on top of that. And then I went ahead and added some more mayo on top of the bun. Now, I know it seems like it's a lot, but I think it's perfect. I like the way that Popeyes did it just because I feel like since the sandwich is so simple, you kind of need the pickles and you do need the mayo on the bottom and on the top bun. And I actually added four pickles instead of two like Popeyes just because my pickles were a little bit smaller. And then the star of the show is the chicken breast and at the top and just like that, you are completely done. You have your own homemade do-it-yourself Popeyes crispy chicken sandwich at home. Way better than anything that you can get at you know, Popeyes, but I would like to say that mine is not as spicy as Popeyes. I kind of messed up there, so if you do like yours a little bit more spicy, make sure you add more hot sauce to your mayo and like to your breading and your marinade, but that's just what I would do better next time. So as you can tell, mine is a lot taller. It's a little bit different. These are side-by-side -side comparisons. Both of the buns are brioche buns. Mine is just, like I said, a little bit different. And yeah, now they're doing a happy dance because they're being excited because I'm going to eat them. 
and devour them. So yeah, let's get to it. Got my handsome husband right here with me Thank at you. our small little table. Are you ready for this challenge? I'm ready to enjoy this Popeye's chicken, spicy chicken sandwich. It's totally not a challenge. Let's see which one's better. So obviously this one's mine, that one's Popeye's. Well, I can tell this one's yours because it's, this one's not yours because <laughs> it's a lot sloppier. <laughs> yours is like awesome. nice and neat pretty oh, much. Thank you, just like me, right? Like everything in your life. That's right. So I'm a lefty. You're, points. Yeah, you're getting you're scoring those. <laughs> I'm a lefty. You're a righty. That's why we're sitting right. this way. Which one are you going for first? Uh, I feel like we have to give Popeyes a shot okay. first. You want to go first? Go ahead. You're the I, star I of have, this show. I have the honors to it. Oh look. Okay. I love their pickles. They look nice and big. I have a nice fat piece of chicken. Hmm. Oh, that's spicy. All right. Let's go for this. That's like a smoky flavor. Has mm -hmm. a kick to it. Pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. I like the pickles. It's like you kind of need something because it's so simple. Dare I say? All, All right. right. Let's try yours. I'm excited about this. It smells good. I have pickles. So my bun is a little bit different than theirs. I feel like they're just smushed. And I'm like, I think this is going to be better. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That was a good bite. Mm hmm. Not as spicy. Make it nice. All right, where do I bite this without you just go. dripping hot sauce mayo all over my face? What do you think? Honest opinion. Okay. That's pretty darn good. That is good. Yours is like legit. Thank you. This one is a little more spicy, like I agree. you said. It's way more spicier. I um, feel like this one isn't really spicy. I think your bread is a lot better though. I think so too. So they're both like a brioche bun, but I think this one's way better. I'm gonna go in for seconds just to make sure that mine's not spicy because I think it's spicy. You're holding it upside down. Oh no. She eats her burgers and sandwiches upside down. I, I don't understand. This is right side up, and this is upside down. She'll be like. <laughs> this one's so much better though. It's so much better. That's spicy though. You got a big piece of chicken right here. I just myself up on the spiciness. Like, how did I miss that? Like this, the first thing you get is smoky spiciness. This is spicy too though. I got a little bit of spice. It's just not as spicy. This has like a weird, weird smoky flavor to it though. I don't really like it. It's got that fake smoke taste kind of. Yeah, they I don't that. like it. I don't like it. I don't like that either. But, but it's spicy. It's still pretty good. Now the true question is, is it worth to wait in line for this? Would you? How long of a line are we talking? <laughs> a long line, I don't know. Mm. Well, like an hour? I'd rather, rather wait an hour home. to make a real one. Yeah, I think I think the real one. one's way better. I like this one. I think it's way better. I like the breading on mine. It actually turned out really pretty. Huh. I care about those things. Good job. You did a good job. Awesome. Thank you. I succeeded at making my own sandwich. There you go. Mine's better, but it's not as spicy. So I feel like... Do they have, don't they have like the regular one that's not spicy? They do. So this is probably like the non-spicy version. Cause but it is a little spicy. The non-spicy wouldn't be spicy at you all. You think so? Yeah. I got food between my teeth. Embarrassing. So what do you guys like better? Popeyes or Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches? I think that this one's pretty good. I would say it's better than the Chick-fil-A one. And I've haven't, I haven't even had Popeyes for like 10 no. plus years. Chick-fil-A is so much better. I don't know. Chick-fil-A, they not, have I'm a different flavor. It. It's like, I don't, I can't even compare it. I think Chick-fil-A is just a, like, the whole Chick-fil-A experience is so much better. Yeah, maybe the experience, but the taste. It does, the thing that I don't like about Chick-fil-A, which sounds kind of weird, is that their chicken is so thick. 
I hate that. It's kind of like yours right here. It's even worse because it's like slimy. I agree. I don't like that thick. I wish it was like chicken. thin, like Popeyes. Like this one does it. Does it yeah. thin chicken? I like their pickles. Their pickles are good. Their pickles are pretty good, and I don't even like. Pickles. You don't like pickles, and I like pickles. That's crazy. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and sticking with us to the very end. I hope you guys make your own. Popeyes, coffee cat, chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel down below and check out my other videos down that way. And what else do you got? Hit the like button. Comment. Let me know what else we should do. Let me know what you're up to. You're awesome. Thanks for watching. See ya. See you guys.